for the sign of Aquarius. Hello and welcome to my channel. Just remember the bottom cards are paired with the top cards. I'll be going through the past, present, challenge, and outcome. And we start with the recent past, King of Cups. Now, with regard to love, when this card appears in a reading, the news is very good. So, there could have been, or there are a few cards that are more loving than the King of Cups. Now, if you are, or if you were looking for love, this can indicate someone who is very balanced, very balanced and loving was headed your way at that time or either they were in your life at that time. Now, the suits in the tarot are not infallible when it comes to indication of physical characteristics, but basically the cups in the tarot will indicate people with hair coloring on the lighter end of the spectrum. Just remember that this card in regards to love it's very good news. So at that time you could have received good news about a loved one or you were in a good healthy relationship at that time. And we have this card paired with the Eight of Wands. Now at, the, at this time in the past you probably were feeling ready for a commitment that just didn't seem to be coming your way. But then again, you knew that you must not push someone before they were ready. Also, you knew that you weren't able to get your needs, needs met by force. So, you distracted yourself if that was necessary. And you knew that your loved one may come back to you before you knew it. Offering the love you've been hoping for on a silver platter. And that's in the past. And we move on to the present. The Page of Swords. Now the Page of Swords, it points to mild conflict. You have to know when to push and when to back off. Many fights and discussions are not actually worth having as long as your partner is treating you with respect. So make sure to allow your partner to have his or her space. This is going to be very crucial for happiness. If you are not in a relationship, make sure to get out, have fun, talk to people, mingle, socialize. Because love, it's not going to drop out of the sky by itself. And we have this card paired with the Six of Pentacles. Now, if you're already in a committed relationship, if you take a look at the picture in this card, it's showing that, Or it's, yeah, it's showing happy, generous, fair, balanced relationship or relationships for at least a while. So you will need to allow your loved one to give you, whether that's in the material or spiritual realm, make sure you allow them to give you And at the same time, make sure that you are doing your fair share of giving. So, your partner, what I'm trying to say is, 
make sure that you're doing your fair share of giving and because they'll be giving to you in a balanced way. So you want to have it mutual give and take at this time. Okay, so if you are unattached but looking, when this card shows up in the reading, you're likely to meet someone who is positive, kind, and generous. Now, just keep in mind, this may come about by introduction from someone you know. So make sure you let people know that you are looking for a partner at this time. And with these two cards paired together, now with the Page of Swords, as I mentioned before, it points to mild conflict. You just need to know when to push away, when to back off from fights and certain types of discussions. Because it's paired with the Six of Pentacles, it's letting you know that it's a great time for happy, generous, fair, and balanced relationships now. And if you're single, it's a good time to meet someone new who's positive, kind, and generous. So just make sure to pick your discussions and try to stay away from conflict at this time because it's actually a good time to meet someone new or to find love. And that's the present, and we move on to the challenge. Now the challenge, we see the Queen of Wands. Now the Queen of Wands, it's a very positive card in the tarot when it comes to love and love relationships. So if you are looking for love, this can mean that you'll meet someone who is suitable Normally this person will have light hair, and you could meet them by way of a friend or an acquaintance. Now it doesn't have to be that way. They could have dark hair, but in the card it's showing a lady with light colored hair. Now, if you if you're not in the mood to be on your own, get out, mingle, trust yourself, and the universe will bring you the love and support you want and need. And we have this card paired with the Nine of Wands. Now the Nine of Wands, it's important to remember that no relationship and nothing on earth can stand up to constant deception. So try to give your loved one some breathing space. If you are not committed and looking for love, just remember that the time may simply not yet be right for you. You need to ask yourself, are there things about you that you'd like to change. Now, just keep in mind, this is a good time to get yourself whole emotionally so that when you are ready for a new relationship, that the person you attract into your life is also whole. So don't be in too much of a hurry at this time. Now with these two cards, here together, the Queen of Wands is letting you know that you may know someone with light hair, and it could be a friend or acquaintance, and it could be a good time for a love relationship with someone of that type. And it's a great time to get out and meet new people if you choose to do so. And it's paired with the Nine of Wands. 
it's letting you know that if you don't choose to do so, um, that's okay too, because you may opt in to just work on yourself. Get yourself together whole emotionally, so that when you do meet someone, you're attracting that type of person also. So it's okay if you're not too much of in a hurry, because uh, it's always a good thing to work on ourselves. And that's going to be the challenge. And now we move on to the King of Pentacles, the outcome. Now with this card, someone may come along and absolutely sweep you, sweep you right off your feet. Yes, so try to put your best foot forward. But don't pretend to be someone that you're not. Now, this person will love you for exactly who you are. So go right ahead and be honest and everything will fall into place. If you're currently involved with someone, the relationship may very well move into a more comfortable place. Now, metaphorically speaking, but if you are dissatisfied, you'll need to say so for things to change. Don't expect your lover to read your mind at this time. And we have this card paired with the Four of Pentacles. It's about fear when you see this card. As you can see in the picture, if you take a good look at it. So, fear. Either you're holding on too tight to a situation or either a lover. Or it could be someone is attempting to do that to you. Now, this clinging is not healthy because we all know that true love allows space between lovers and no matter what one can never really control another person now if you are single and think that you're ready for a relationship just realize that you will undoubtedly have to step outside your comfort zone to make it happen because true love will not just drop out of the sky. And with these two cards paired together, the King of Pentacles is letting you know someone, you could be meeting someone or you already know someone that's about to sweep you off your feet. So go ahead and relax because this person, they're going to love you for who you are. So there's no, no need to be pretentious at this time. And we have this current pair with the Four of Pentacles. You could be holding on too tight to a situation or a lover, or this new person could be doing that to you. Okay, they could be really drawn to you, or you could be drawn to them in a great or a powerful way. And just remember, to not be too clingy, or if they're being too clingy to you, then uh, you need to give it some space or or try to stay, just stay away from being too clingy because it's not healthy. Okay, like I said, they could be doing that to you because it's such a good relationship and it feels good at this, at this time. So, that's going to be your outcome. Aquarius, I hope this resonated. As you know, general readings, they don't always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you like to do. I thank you so much for watching and have a great day. And have a great day. And have a great day. And have a great day.